What's up, everybody? So first, we're priming the face with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. This shit is the bomb. All right, next we're going in with some L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade number 410. Just slapping that on the top half of the face. Now we're going in with the the Balm Schwing Liner. This is the best liquid eyeliner ever. And we're just doing a weird, rough, drippy outline of stuff, of drips. And we messed up because everybody makes mistakes. We're going to fix that later. And that one too. Alright, now we're doing the beauty portion of the face. I'm just going in with a light pink shade in the crease and a fluffy brush and giving it some blends. With a smaller fluffy brush, I am going in. Oh, there, we're zoomed in now. I'm going in with the shade Jilted from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Next, I'm going in even deeper with the shade Urban from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And we're just forming that into a V shape, blending it out, blending it underneath the eye as well. brush with nothing on it just blending all those colors together blending is the key everybody and some more blending I think I used some pink that time now we're going on the lid with a pigment from sleek makeup Blend, bitch, blend. Couldn't find my lash glue. Searched for it for a hot second. And then I lost my flipping eyelash. I couldn't find my eyelash. Oh, didn't find my eyelash, but look at what I did find. It's a Wiggles mug from the band Philia. Everybody go check them out. It's a shameless, shameless plug. Shameless? Still can't find my eyelash, and I found it. There it is. This is the Kiss Lash in the number 610. And we're popping it on, pop, popping it on. Eyelashes are hard, everybody. They are. And now we're just adding some eyeliner on the, what's that called? The lash line. Just to blend in the fake lashes with the real ones. Because no one wants to know we're fake. And we're doing some mascara again to blend the fake and the real eyelashes. If, I, if my eyelashes looked like that in real life, I would be one happy camper. Those are badass. All right. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, by the way. And now we're going to just do a little bit of bronzing, you know, warm up the face. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And we're filling in those eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolat. Yes, girl. Get them arches right. Get them in there. Point that tail. Yes. I like to coach myself when I'm doing eyebrows. And we're setting it now with some NYX Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. And we're highlighting the brow bone in the inner corner of the eye. Oh, she thinking, what's she gonna do next? Oh, she gonna put green on her face. All right, so like an unprofessional, I don't own any paint, I don't own any face paint. Uh, I just do my look solely with eyeshadow, which I kind of enjoy that look almost a little bit more. I'm using the shade Freak from the Urban Decay Electric Palette to fill in my face here. 
And I think using eyeshadow just gives it a more, it just makes it look a little bit softer. And I also like the finishes of uh, eyeshadows, how it has a little bit of pearl in it, a little metallic finish. I'm sure you can buy face paint like that too, but you know, just me being difficult and not having the tools that I need. That's all that is. Excuses. I'm making up excuses. So we're blending now with a bigger brush, still using that same shade. And we're bringing it down the neck. Down the neck. to the chesticles because you also can't forget those okay now we're gonna go in with a little bit of alien contour we're gonna take a dark green black shade and we're just gonna contour our alien face here we're trying to give the illusion that the top half of our head is big and the bottom half is more narrow so now we're gonna go in and shade all those little skin drippies and this will just add some shadow and make it look more realistic. Add some depth to the look. All right, now we are just gonna carve out that alien chin. We got skinny chins. I don't know what I'm talking about. And we're shading. And we're contouring again. Just going in a little bit uh, with more detail, deepening that contour and the shadows. And here is the start of the alien eyeball. We are birthing the alien right here. I'm just going in with a gel black liquid liner and making an alien shape. Getting all up in there. I've touched my eyeball a lot with this and I didn't love it did not love it, but it definitely is necessary if you want the illusion to work. And we're setting down that liner with a black shadow so it um, doesn't crease and whatnot and run all over your face. And now we're just adding some little eyeball highlights with some silver glitter because you always got to have a little bit of sparkle. hungry. I'm really hungry. Now we're giving the alien some under eye bags because I feel like he's stressed. He's been hiding under the skin for a long time. He's been living a lie and he's stressed about it, okay? So we're just giving him some eye bags and I'm using the pale foundation of my skin because I don't own any white face paint, so that's also another amateur move by me. And we're still eye bagging because he's very stressed. And now we're just gonna shadow them eye bags, make them look real deep. Cause she real stressed under there. And we're just going in and deepening up the shadows around the face again. You guys notice that I do this a lot, but uh, the more you go back in and add detail and deepen those shadows, it's going to look way more realistic. So I think I'm going in with a black shadow this time. I went in with dark green before. And just deepening those shadows just to make it look like that alien face is really underneath the actual skin. some highlights on the face, the alien face. I went in with the shade Thrash from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and that just adds some highlights and brings some brightness to the center of the face and makes it look more realistic. More dimension. Putting it on the lips as well. Get our green alien lips a going. And we're just going to go back in and make that face contour more angular and more sharp. Alright, 
just now, since we went through and shaded all of that alien skin underneath again, I'm just going to clean up those little face drippies. Make them look like they're actually dripping on top of the green. Make everything look all sharp again. outlining that skin to make it pop again with the Schwing liner by The Balm. This stuff really is The Balm. I've used it for like three, four years now and it's the shit. And again with that same liner we're gonna create some alien nostrils. testicles because you can't just do the face and we're shadowing and shading to get some more depth in that just makes it look a little bit more real going over the black shadow and back to the face we're adding some highlights to the drips just to the bottom of the drips so that it just kind of pops a little bit more highlighting and contouring and shadowing and all that stuff really makes these looks actually come together and I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place but back to that eyeliner we're putting it on the mouth on the lips just to give it some more depth and to kind of change the shape of your mouth a little bit and now we're gonna attempt to create the illusion of having a big old alien head and a skinny little neck so once again this would have been a lot easier with some black face paint but I don't own face paint. I like to make things harder for myself. So we're using that same black gel eyeliner again. And just filling it in. Filling it in. And then I will go through and set it with a black eyeshadow too so that it doesn't rub all over the place. And then we did our hair all up and made ourselves look cute like a slave alien. Go ahead and give this video a like if you guys enjoyed. My name is Caitlin once again. Thank you so much for watching. It's Rachel. I know it's Rachel. She's interrupting something. I think she would shit her face or shit her face. Shit her pants if I answered her FaceTime like this. This is hard.